Velociraptors are arguably the heart of the Jurassic Park franchise. And whether you're talking about the book or the film, most people agree that the Velociraptors are terrifying. But in the novel, their cold intelligence shines through even more. And there's also differences in their appearance. The top image is from the first Jurassic Park novel and the bottom image is from the second. The raptors from both the book and the novel were based on Deinonychus. Though in the novel they do have a more pointed snout like the real Velociraptor. And these guys had a forked tongue in the novels, which they likely didn't have in either Deinonychus or Velociraptor in real life. There is a fan theory that these animals were actually Achillobator and not Velociraptor, but that theory doesn't hold much ground. But no matter what you think they are, it's their intelligence you should fear. And their bite since they can chew through metal bars. And combining the two is unfortunately how you get a scene like this. In the second Jurassic Park novel, they use a man's own weight against him when they tug on the weapon in his hands, causing him to lose his balance and leaving him at their mercy. Not even to mention how they systematically swept through buildings in the first novel, which led to an incredibly tense scene between Alan Grant and three of the Velociraptors. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of raptors in the book, by the way. And it's only through Grant's intelligence and some luck that he manages to survive. Because unfortunately for the raptors, no one can refuse a good egg, even them. Oh, and that time that they toyed with Ellie at the fence? Making her think she was the one distracting them when really they were the ones distracting her. I think Muldoon said it best.